Welcome to Last Night in Basketball. I'm Jared Dubin. Julius Randle has completely turned his season around. Through the first six games of the year, Randle was an outright disaster. He may have been the single worst player in the entire league. His shooting numbers were abysmal, and he just absolutely would not stop shooting. And because he would not stop shooting, he would not stop missing. It was pretty gross. The shooting numbers were bad enough, especially for a player with Randall's heavy usage, but he was also just indiscriminately dribbling into crowds, turning the ball over. It was really ugly, he was really struggling, and it didn't look like things were gonna stop. But then on November 6th, the Knicks played the Clippers, and everything has changed since then. Why? Ask Mike Breen. Randall goes right at Subac, so there's the Julius Randall with the Knicks want to see. Since that game against the Clippers, Randall has dramatically changed his shot diet. He's taken out so many of his threes and exchanged almost all of them for shots at the rim and in the paint. He's attacking the basket so much more often over these last few weeks than he did earlier in the year. And his drives to the rim have also been much more effective. He looks so much more decisive when he gets a running start, and he's just doing a much better job of finishing through contact and over help defenders at the rim. He's also not just barreling into the paint. He's being more patient, getting himself a lane to actually get all the way to the rim and showing zero hesitation whatsoever to challenge even the best of defenders, whether that's on the perimeter and trying to get by them or whether that's at the basket and trying to finish over, around, or through them. Because he's rediscovered his ability to get to the rim and finish, it's opened up things for his playmaking. According to Second Spectrum, Randall's seeing a help defender less often on his drives over these last few weeks than he was earlier in the season, but he's passing the ball to teammates more, and it's paying off in a big way for the Knicks. This is when Randall's at his best, when he's able to do his whole bulldozer routine and get wherever he wants, but also make those kind of drop-offs to Mitchell Robinson under the rim or make the kickouts to Jalen Brunson on the wing. Randall's a really good passer when he wants to be, and when he really has it going, he's making these kinds of dishes across the court through multiple layers of defenders, creating the easiest of shots for his teammates, either beyond the arc or at the rim. Another big way things have changed for Randall lately is that the Knicks are putting him in more pick and rolls. Not as the screener, as the ball handler. They're having Mitchell Robinson set him screens, Isaiah Hartenstein, even the guards. Giving Randall a screen instead of always having him isolate or even post up allows somebody else to create the advantage for him for once. He's always having to do so much work to score, but when you give him a screen, he gets an opening created for him and he's able to more easily get to where he wants to go on the floor. That allows him to tap into his instincts as both a scorer and a playmaker. When it comes to those post-ups, one of the big issues Randall was having earlier in the season was that they were starting so far away from the basket. In more recent weeks, fewer of his post-ups are coming from that far out. Getting him the ball when he doesn't have as much space to cover allows him to threaten the defense closer to the rim, which makes the Knicks a more efficient offense. Getting Randall the ball in better position helps everybody on the floor, but it's not just his responsibility. Yeah, he's the guy that actually has to generate that position for himself, but there's also somebody throwing the entry pass and they have to wait for him to get down there and throw him a good pass so he can catch the ball on the block. Still, there were some things Randall had to improve all by himself. This is maybe the nerdiest thing I've ever noticed in my life, but watching Randall at the start of the year, you could tell there was no arc on his jump shot. There were some shots where he was consciously trying to get more arc, but that didn't work out for him either. And when you look at the numbers on second spectrum, it bears out. Randall shoots much better when his launch angle on his jumper is higher rather than lower. And early this season, it was the lowest it's ever been in New York. Over these last few weeks, he's getting more lift under his jumper. Maybe it's a small thing, but the smallest things can throw even the best players off. That's where Randall was earlier this season. Not anymore though. Now he's back to being the all-star level player the Knicks need him to be. Thank you for watching Last Night in Basketball. I'm Jared Dubin. Head on over to lastnightinbasketball.com and subscribe today.